Oh, we need a filter in here. At least for a little bit, because we will get nasty stuff in there. Um, because this is just not a clean room for now. You recorded it because of Ubisoft, so you don't like Ubisoft. Okay. Mm-hmm. I don't know why that, why Ubisoft, why, why, why do you not like Ubisoft? EA and Ubisoft are pests in cholera? Why? I mean, EA I totally understand, but Ubisoft? Why, why is Ubisoft so bad? You go in there and then this will go... Hmm. Don't know yet where that will go. We could probably spare, store extra stuff just up here, straight up. Why are you doing cats? Just because you're squeezing in between the other cat and the monitor doesn't necessarily mean that it works. Uh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Hey, Assassin's Creed Origins was dope. I really enjoyed that. Origins and Odyssey were both really, really good. Ubisoft has bad quality. Have you played Origins or Odyssey? I totally agree that um, the uh, the Assassin's Creed games before Odyssey and and um, Origins uh, and after Black Flag were pretty pretty freaking bad, but they've definitely stepped up their game. Has bad quality and bad customer service. I've never had an issue with the uh, Uplay. Forces you to use their store if they want to be free from Steam. Don't force me to install Uplay. But how will you? How else will you get their games? <laughs> I don't understand. I don't understand why. I don't know. I don't know. I don't see the problem with that. But fair enough. I mean. Yeah, but otherwise Ubisoft, Ubisoft doesn't do shit things, though. The only thing that did not turn it was Black Flag. It was mostly for the shit part in the game. Yeah, hey, Origins, Origins and Odyssey are nothing like the old Assassin's Creed games, though. Like, they're completely different games. So, yeah. Wait, do we have... No, we do have uh, technically somebody who can analyze that, right? Do we have somebody on research? Oh yeah, no, 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 Grunak, Grunak. Everything after, everything after Black Flag, and everything before Origins was shit. <laughs> Unity. Um. Oh god, what else was there? I haven't even. I, I forgot about it. I don't know. Whatever. Like you know, everything that was was in there. Like. After Black Flag, they got super stale, and I also do not li I just like the old com the combat style in the old Assassin's Creed games. But Origins and Odyssey is are pretty freaking fantastic and fun games. I 100%ed Origins, uh, including the DLC. Uh, where's our research dude? Don't need Jensen to do that, we want you to do that. Uh, I was probably using Linux. Oh, yeah, okay. Gaming on Linux. Yeah, yeah you're kind of shooting yourself in the foot with that one. You didn't... I, I don't know. I, to be honest, I never played Syndicate. But, like, I didn't enjoy watching Syndicate. But it wasn't It wasn't that bad. I just don't like the old... I don't like the combat system in the old Assassin's Creed games. Um, even though the story is good. But, yeah, I just don't like the, the way combat works in them. Okay, we'll mine that because I want that meat basically. Could be worse. You could be trying games on Mac. Yeah, yeah. Mac and Linux is just not for gaming. It's not an issue anymore. Yeah, but there's still a lot of games who don't that, that don't work on Linux. Ah, uh, we do have to admit that. <laughs> All right. Uh oh, we can't get a tin. They look just like grandmas to me, Draclets. It looks like they have like glasses and they look like little gra uh, grandmas. Mm. 
Therefore you boycott them. Yeah, I mean fair enough. That's totally that's totally um okay. But to to be honest, like gaming market wise, like people on Linux and Mac are very, very, very much in the minority. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's very, very, they are very, very much in the minority. So, yeah, they probably don't even, like, it's probably money worth, not even worth it for them. Google Stadia runs on Linux. Yeah, but what about the people with bad internet? Like, Google Stadia is never going to be an option for me. Because <laughs> if you don't have a good op, uh, see, like, I don't like Google Stadia for that reason because if people with bad with bad internet or with spotty connections are gonna get super duper uh, screwed over by that system, and that's why I probably won't use that. For example, hey, Doctor Eggman, hello from England. You boycott two K? I haven't like bought a two K game in forever, like forever. Like I'm talking like Nintendo era forever. Uh, this game is growing at the moment. It is growing, but it's still a teeny tiny section of the market. Mm. Oh yeah, they do Borderlands, don't they? Yeah, oh, that's a good point. It is a yeah, but on the other hand, that is a stupid thing. Uh, what people are doing. Sorry. I mean, yeah, you can be upset about, um, you know, your game of choice not being on the, on the marketplace of your choice. Okay, but don't take it out on like old games that have nothing to do with that, and being like, oh, this game is bad. But actually, I just don't like their policy. That's kind of stupid. Hmm. They did so. Oh yeah, Civilization as well. Yeah, I have both 4, 5, and 6. Or I have actually all three of those. Still haven't played any of those more than like two hours. <laughs> I really need to get around to doing that. Okay, so yeah, apparently 2K still do a lot of games. I hadn't realized. <laughs> uh, I had not realized. Mafia and Bioshock. Fair enough. They do, they do more than I realized. GTA is 2K2? No, GTA is Rockstar. Or is it published by, by 2K? But GTA is Rockstar, isn't it? Who cares about NBA? I mean, I know they do NBA and like wrestling, but those games are shit. And who cares about sports games? Sorry. <laughs> sports games are like my... One of my least favorite genres of games. <laughs> By take two, not to care. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I so, thought so. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, the Brink. Two K is a publisher and has a lot of titles on its ownership. Uh. Yeah, I was trying to say like I don't think it's GTA. You care about it? Fair enough. For me, like I, I, it's probably my most disliked genre along MOBAs and racing games. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, GTA is Rockstar like um uh thingy. Wow, brain fart. Brain fart so hard. Um Red Dead, Red Dead, there we go. Racing games are sport. Yeah, technically. Technically. Just it's kind of a slightly different um like play style thingy, right? You like eye racing? Nah, they, they just don't do it for me. I mean, stuff like Football Manager, I could potentially get in because of the management type thing, but um, uh, yeah, uh, like like just like straight up sports games, meh. Uh, Brainford? I have Brainfords, yep. Who is running in the event is dedicated. I don't think they've set for several cycles. No, no, no. We've got several people doing that. And we've got, um, 
we've got them on like uh, sort of you know timed schedules, so not everybody's using the same uh, bathroom at the same time. Uh, it's not considered a sports game though. Yeah, but I mean it has sports stuff in it, but it's yeah it's more of a management simulator type stuff. Exactly. That's the and that's the bit of it that I would find probably intriguing or find intriguing. Motorsport manager is kind of fun. Yeah, see those kind of things. Those were by yeah, be my my thingy. I could get down with those if I ever actually get into it. Okay, you're picking up polluted water, which we're dumping in here. But you know what? We're gonna stop that for now. We're gonna do a sweep only one because this one has polluted. This has food poisoning in it. This water, however, down here does not, as won't, um, uh, as well as the um, water that we're going to get out of the natural gas generators, that also won't have food poisoning in, in it. So we're going to set that up later. You're going to play football, football manager and stuff? Good luck with that. I don't know how popular um, football manager content is on YouTube. YouTube's hard. Like for like as a streamer, I find YouTube extremely hard. Uh, it's take two that also owns 2K. Yeah, but that does not mean that 2K is GTA. Yeah. What's not? Oh, it doesn't. It doesn't do well. Is that what you mean, it's a Dan? Yeah. We also need to analyze the, the, the vent over here, eventually. Okay, so play with different approach. Okay, fair enough. I mean, hopefully it goes well for you, but yeah. You know, like a little boss get an FM channel to do well on YouTube. Yeah. You mean YouTube hard? <laughs> yes, because, <laughs> no, I actually meant YouTube. Um, because it's fundamentally different. Uh, streaming is about producing like a lot of content and a lot of stream like and just like a stream of consciousness stuff YouTube is about doing um, I mean yes let's plays is relatively similar to streaming but uh, you have a lot more dead air to fill uh, with your own thoughts compared to streaming because in streaming you you have the audience to bounce off of uh, when doing YouTube stuff you don't Hey, all crazy stuff. Sorry, it's on cooldown. Um, doesn't Twitch support vids now? Yeah, but nobody fucking cares about the upload feature on Twitch. People come to Twitch for live content. They don't come to Twitch for... Um, they don't come to Twitch for uh, VODs. They don't care. People don't care. I've had some stuff. You get like two views on it or something like that. People just don't. There's no. There's no way. There's no. There's no good search function to look for vods. There is no. Um, or like to look for videos like that. Um, there is no. There is no recommendations for for things like that. <laughs> nice, Fabrizio. Uh, so yeah, and, and the people just don't really care about that sort of stuff on on Twitch. They come to Twitch for the live content, which I totally understand. Me fail English. It's impossible. Uh, brought up us in. Thanks for the follow. Much appreciated. How are you doing, Fabrizio? <laughs> again, hello. Hello again. Is there something everyone see that I miss? You don't typically watch VODs. I do sometimes watch VODs if it's um, if it is a story playthrough and I missed some of it. But yeah, people don't really come from for videos on demand. People go to YouTube. That's what I do. I go to YouTube. And, and YouTube users want like neat little chunks. Videos over 30 minutes usually don't often do well. Um, for example, and they definitely don't want several per day. Whereas on Twitch, the more content you do, the happier people are. You don't care? I mean, hey, if, if, if you just want to do it because you know, for the fun of it, go for it. I mean, <laughs> that's why I do my YouTube stuff, right? It's not like I'm gonna, like, suddenly get, like, 
a shit ton of people on YouTube. I just do it because I enjoy it as well. <laughs> logic, yes. Brains and logic and things and stuff. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, skill increase. We need to like check that. Oh my god, they all have got so many points. Okay, your morale is good though. Improved digging for the you. Disaster coffee gets. Ooh, exosuit. Oh shit, I can't do. Oh shit, no, you're still over. Okay. You don't get anything. Can you do exosuit training? Yes. That's good because um, they get a penalty reduction and they get faster. So that's a pretty good thing to have. They make a backpack for your jeeps and a haulers. They can carry a lot of stuff. Do you just stream 10 hours a day every day, play a kind of popular game? About time you do well. Uh, it's not necessarily a popular game. You want to play something that has a certain amount of viewers, but not too many and not too few. Um, because otherwise there is just no um, traffic to your channel. And um, if you're not entertaining, <laughs> unless if you're like amazingly good at a game, uh, people won't watch. <laughs> Ultimate Tetris. <laughs> oh, we also have stuff to get. And uh, yeah, so yeah, don't don't start streaming like Apex Legends. Expect you to become the next. I don't know who is the top streamer of Apex Le Apex Legends. I don't know. Don't start streaming Fortnite. Expect you to become the next ninja. There we go. Um, that's just not gonna work. Uh, growth halted, but you should be almost there, right? Like temperature wise. Trout, Trout is best at Apex? Okay, fair enough. I watched a bit the other day of a guy donating 10k to a sleeping stream. Jesus. Sheepy's best Apex Legends player. <laughs> nice. Okay, so you do... Analysis complete. Uh, 41 cycles every 72. Ugh, that's rough. Uh, you play alongside streamers, so it's more about the chat than the game. Yeah. Invalid building location. What? Oh, is that is that bug still in there? Like, if I place it now, it's fine. That's still a thingy. Yep, that's... No, no. Wait, what are you? I guess I technically need another one over there. Okay, no. So, interesting. So, it's actually wider than it looks. Yeah, that's funny though, because like technically sleeping stream. Well, I guess no. For a time they banned sleeping streams, but now you can do it unless like, but if uh, but only if you're like not listed in a directory or something like that. You play World War Two combat flight simulators. That might be a niche enough to actually get you some uh, some views. If you what, if you unlist yourself, like if you, because right now if you click on my stream, it says FG is playing oxygen included, but you can unlist yourself from the directory. Um, like you can set your game to none, and then you don't show up in the listings. Um, and and then it's okay. Who is so bored that I watch others sleep? Um, it's not really about, well, a lot of the older sleeping streams was basically just people falling asleep while streaming. But yeah. Eating streams are big in Japan and Korea. Mukbang is actually more popular even in Korea than in Japan. Yeah. I was talking to somebody in the Twitch partner discord and, um, Turned out in the end that they were an ASMR streamer. I just clicked on their content and stuff like that. But I was like, no. Hey, I would totally sub, sub to you and support you. But no, I can't take ASMR stuff. Basically, if I was about to sleep in your chair, you better change the game you're playing. Yeah, or have your mods do it. Because technically, you can get um, kicked off for that. Okay, we're doing this. Oh, but this actually kind of works. Okay, that's cool. That, that's cool. It's, uh, yeah. Mm, what's gonna do it? Well, if you have an edit, if you have a mod set to an editor, yes. ASMR is the new thing, yes. 
but I do not like ASMR one tiny bit. Oh my god, ASMR makes me tingle and not in a good way. Rather in a very, very bad way. Uh, yeah, if they've got editorial um, uh, rights, they can do it. To be fair, though, if you're a streamer and if you're trying to do, if you're doing this full time and stuff like that, you should have just in case a mod set as an editor, just in case something happens, so they can change some stuff. Uh, yeah. You saw if you're just someone was doing how many chicken nuggets you could evilize on stream. Ooh. stuff happens there some people might find it soothing I don't know a mod what um a mod has edit edit uh, like um, you can set a mod at, you can set a mod as editor and they can uh, do certain things on your dashboard they don't have like they don't get, they don't see like how much money you make or anything like that but they can cut up vods um, they can highlight things they can do sorts of uh, all sorts of things like that. Mm -hmm. No, natural gas pump is not working. Oh, because it's not hooked up to power yet. <laughs> As you can see, it has a little battery symbol. It's just not hooked up to power yet. Mm. Should Dale think about that? Yeah, yeah, probably. I mean, some you can do that. Some you can do it via bot, like channel bot commands as well. But yeah, it's a good idea to have that set up. Just in case something goes wrong. Or something happens. I don't know. You never know. Might just be just in case he forgets to turn the stream off. Do you need to move the rooms closer? Yeah, but it'll always run. It's it's because right now they're going from here, through here, through the exosuits, down the way, this way, and then over there. Um, that is a long commute, but <laughs> there's not really anything that we can do about it unless we put in transport tubes. Uh, but that would also require then that we get rid of the... like. That would just require so much work on the outside that I just don't bother. Most people don't bother with long commutes. They just leave it as is. Because, um, basically, if they if they sleep here and they work here, they already complain. So, basically, just mute this. Uh, just, just, uh, ignore this. Basically, that is the best thing to do. I tried to uh, once you managed to waste five minutes of your life because you changed the channel. Licking, biting, and tapping. Um, for a lot of people, those sounds are very, very, very satisfying, and not like in a in a sexual way. It's just they they just get a good feeling from those sounds, and. Uh, I wouldn't even ca necessarily call it shitty as ASMR or anything like that. It's not. It's just um, some people people have a reaction and some people don't. I'm of the one. Of, I'm one of the people who doesn't. You obviously are one of the people who also has not uh, a reaction to that sort of sound. But for a lot of people, um, the sounds are very pleasing and they make them feel nice and relaxed and you know they get a good tingle feeling in their in their body. Yeah. It's pretty much, yeah, it's pretty much is Grunok, yeah. It's a, uh, hey, this is not optimized, but you can't really do anything, I said, unless we get transport tubes or plastic flooring or, like, whatever the um, better flooring is that you can get. Yeah, plastic tile because they can go faster on plastic. But uh, we're not there yet, yeah. Rain ASMR. Yeah, but that's, that's, um... That is non-human ASMR. Like that that's sounds then obviously that's just nature sounds. It's slightly different than the ASMR that we're talking about. But yeah, some people is for for a lot of people it just makes them feel really nice. For me it definitely doesn't give that feeling. But each sure their own Yeah. Exactly. A lot of people find those sounds very, very relaxing. I definitely don't. God, they make me shudder. And like, it's like basically nails on a sh on a chalkboard, a uh, chalk, uh, board to me. 
I definitely don't need that. <laughs> it's still ASMR. I guess, yeah, in a way. Um, but it's not like the kind of ASMR that you can find on Twitch. Usually. Okay. How is this mushroom farm doing? Temperature seems okay now. It's still hot, but it's not like... Oh my god, my plants are dying hot, so that's nice. Uh, there we go, we're gonna drop that for now. And then we're gonna do a sweep only uh, ice and snow for now. But this is not gonna be swept away, so we just leave that there. And that can just cool as well. Um, the thing they describe is what, what they have while listening to ASMR is, is, you, is what you get when you read engineering letters. <laughs> nice. Hey murder bits! Happy Wednesday, how's it going? Good to see you. Thank you, Cucumber. How are you today, Mr. Dr. Bits? I hope you're having a good one. Uh, computer just said hi to you. How weird. Yep. So you stuff for your technical writing class. <laughs> nice. I'm gonna sweep this for now. Okay, you're building all of this. Because um, I basically just want to get this started. It's not super... Um, Overpressured in here, but... We kind of want to get started on this anyways. Uh, it's treating me okay. We're still not out of like the stuff that I've done before though. It's still kind of, we're still kind of doing the thing that we've done before. Mm. Uh, you gave yourself a stomach ache worrying about things. Oh, I'm sorry. That's rough. That's very rough. How did I never connect this? Oh, it was, but it wasn't. Okay, cool. Well, there we go. We can get it out now, so that's good. This is going up, right? Very slowly. Very slowly that's going up, but that's good. So we can store the natural gas for now. And then later on we can, um, now we don't have to worry about setting up the power like immediately before um, this gets like overpressured, which is good. You haven't used your Twitter in years, well, better get to it. Every retweet and like actually helps on a, uh, on a tweet. Even if you've got zero followers, it's just how Twitter's algorithms work. So, if you have no money, but you want to support streamers that you really, really, really like, or YouTubers or whatever, um, retweet their tweets. It's a super easy way that you can help people. No robot commands. Um, no, because uh, Twitch chat, normal Twitch chat, doesn't recognize Mastodon links as links. Um, but I'm technically on there. Midnight Moo! Thank you for the follow and thank you for your Prime sub. That's so kind of you. Uh, thank you so much for spending your primes up here. I know you'll get one spot to spend it. You chose to do it here. Thank you so very much. I really appreciate it. Enjoy your otters. Thanks for the support. And Felix. Oh my goodness. Glitzam <laughs> Upsilon, Upsilon, Upsilon. Felix, good to see you. Uh, and thank you so much, Felix, for five months of sub, and I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for the support. Very, very kind of you. You don't have any? That's fine, too. But yeah, as I'm just saying, it's six. Twitch is lying. No! Root. Root. Twitch is root. Oh, I just realized I'm doing this. 
not technically right, but we'll be fine. Silly, silly Twitch. Silly lying Twitch thing. But thank you so much. And Midnight Moo, thank you as well. <sighs> much appreciated. Enjoy your orders. Uh, all of you. Now you can loot all over the place. Um, okay. How much was it again? So that one does 353 grams per second. Um, natural gas jennies use 90 grams. And they produce 22 grams of carbon dioxide. Back to the lurk. Have a good lurk. Um, your ultimate combo is back. Enjoy. So... Let's see. They use 90 grams per second. This one does 350 grams, but only ever every 280, uh, like every 465 seconds, it goes off for 238. And it also has an active period of only 41 every 72 cycles. There's a whole lot of math that we could do right now. I'm just going to go with two natural gas generators for now. <laughs> mm. And then we'll go from there. That should, uh, in theory, be more than enough. And I, I messed up here. I should have just waited to put in the mesh tiles, and I didn't. Teach you how to natural gas? <laughs> I will teach you how to fart. You have come to see the fast, f fast fart master. Um, but starvation. Just go home and eat. Jesus Christ. They are really complaining more about that sort of stuff. Also, oh, goodness. Oh, we get another ration box. Blonk. We need to get a block in there. I don't think I can build like that right now. Um, full charge just be uh, last more than a day. Yeah, they last really long. Uh, why am I using the printing part to print items? Oh, because I didn't realize it was ready. <laughs> there we go. Boink. There you go. Jack Black. All printed. Oh my god, they're already full. To be fair, these can't really actually store all that much. They don't really store all that much. They only store about 150. But they only store 150 kilograms. Which is actually not that much. The matrix should have been natural gas powered. Oh, sh oh, oh yes, it should have. Okay, so we want this to get out. And then in here, and in, well, it actually, not quite like this, actually. Because <coughs> that way they don't get supplied properly. Uh, also not here, but actually this way. Uh, yes, yes, sort of. Uh, we'll do it like this for now. It's basically the same same setup, but we'll have to just do it like this for now. I might split it up, uh, split it up earlier. We'll see. Depends on how the supply on these little buggers works properly. <clears throat> oh, skill points. We've got some skill points. You okay? Your morale is good, but I, if I give you anything more than this. Your morale is not going to be enough. Juice is already over. And you are good to go for more cooking. I have to go. Alright, Fred. Have a good one. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, much appreciated. We'll see you uh, tomorrow. We will see you tomorrow. One more day this week. And then I'll be gone, unfortunately, for, uh, for a few days. Because I'm going to TwitchCon. And to see my mum. So I won't be streaming for... Uh, like six or seven days um so yeah go go follow me on twitter and on youtube if you want content while i'm gone hint hint nudge nudge wink wink hey saha saha many saha money 
Sahamane? Is that how you say it? <laughs> Sorry, like totally messing up that name. I Apollo. Uh, uh, I apologize. There we go. If you have a video to do my Twitch con, thank you, thank you. Also, I just kind of like went like. Blah, 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 blah. I just butchered that so hard. Talking is hard. Talking is getting hard. Yeah. Me fail English? That's impossible. That's impossible. Totally. Already. How is it already three thirty? God, I'm having this issue again, quote unquote issue, where I'm playing this game and time passes really quickly. It's really good at that. <laughs> nice. We're doing sound lines again. <laughs> but, uh, okay, you're doing that one first. Sure. <laughs> Sorry, still on cooldown. It's Friday, Friday, gotta get down on Friday. And yes, you have to get down on Friday, like so hard. At least you can now deconstruct these tiles. I remember when you couldn't. In one of these nights, change the cooler and Nick's castle. Do it. Do it. Do it. I s that, that would be hilarious. I probably won't be there, but yeah. So much for the no, we're not gonna sing. Well, yeah, but yeah, you had gotta go down on Friday. Yep, yep. We gotta get. We got. We so gotta get down. We are, and then we'll do definitely a tire like this, and then we'll see about this. Cause this way they can at least get here and do stuff quicker than if they have to go all the way over there to that ladder. You like it? <laughs> well, it's free for streamers to use. On their channel if they want to. They just have to ask me so I can send them the MP3. Because apparently that is now a, uh, a sound file that's being passed around. <laughs> Gonna go down on the store each Friday anyways. Hey, that works then. That works then. Definitely. And more gas storage. Blonk. Now we'll just do this one on an 8. Oh, those don't matter that much, but we'll, we'll work on that one. There we go. We've got one of these now. Uh, how much do they each do again? It's been so long since I've done this. Sorry if I'm derping around a little bit, but I haven't played in about half a year, so it's like... I'm I'm relearning how to play. So the input's out for the new gas tax. Wrong. Oh, did I? Oh, I did. I did. Yes. Thank you. I did. Ah, every time. I do this every freaking time. It's because... For me, my brain, green is in and white's out. And that's even even though I've played this game for like so many times, so many, so many hours. Thanks, Mr. Supervoo. Um, I, I still do it. <laughs> so silly. It's just because, I don't know. I, for me, it would be so much better if the colors were red and green. Like green in, red out. Because my brain just somehow can't comprehend <laughs> um, that. Okay, uh, let's see. So what we could do... Uh, about colorblind people though. Mm, true. That's true, yeah. Uh, that is true, Tim. But always have, have two different modes. Would always have the you know the green and white as a colorblind stuff yeah it's just i don't know but maybe i'm just the only one who's having issues with it i mean to be fair i should be used to this by now i've played this game so very much but somehow my brain is still like nope so this goes up here and now we'll think about this later so let's see so one that's 800 that's 360 the pump is 240 so that's 600 so we've got 200 left over that we could do uh that we could power with that so we need to figure out what we're actually going to power with that 
Oh yeah, we'll put these each on smart batteries and then we can have this and this I suppose could technically just replace um, the coal generator. Uh, 